I was hoping to take a bit of a break. There's been a lot of, a lot of work going on, a lot of emotional work going on with Jessica's work, with my advocacy role. And with the last bit of media attention, and that was quite a whirlwind, but probably for the, the last eight or nine weeks, I've worked pretty steady on, on, on Jessica's work, and um, I'm really in need of a break. So I was hoping after the whirlwind of the media attention that I'd be able to take that bit of break but I had one really big task um, before I could do that, and that was to compile all the documentation um, from litigation, uh, in the sense all her charts, Jess's charts, and uh, put that together, ship it to um, Dr. Graber, who will be doing the, the study um, for the new publication diagnosis. And I, I had some trouble getting all the documentation. I did finally get it, and it, it's uh, a large stack and I needed to go through it and cross-reference everything uh, from GP records to neurology, to cardiology, to make sure I had absolutely everything that uh, Mark Graper was going to need. And um, I was having trouble uh, getting to it um, because it would take some time to do that, but also I knew how difficult it is because uh, I've done it many, many times to go through line by line through her charts and see the mistakes that you know, just kept on going on and on like the energizer bunny. There were so many places where they could have saved Jess and, and no one did. And so it's really hard to read through that. And I was uh, down in my office and, and I was showing my husband, Philip, um, the documents and what I was going through and I was finding stuff and stuff I hadn't seen before and I was getting really emotionally charged and wrapped up in it. And I know it's very difficult for him and I don't I don't like to share all of that with him all the time because he doesn't work with it like I do day in, day out, and it's really hard for him. So I was trying to express how difficult this was, and I had all of the papers laying out, and, the, and, and I was looking at it, showing them, and, and I said, I, I just, uh, I am already late, and I, I am late to get it to Mark, and I have to go through everything, I have to do this, I have to do that, and he just put his hands on my shoulders and he said stop we're gonna put those documents into the box now and we're gonna let Mark sort it out that's what he does his team that's what they do and you are not going to read any further and it wasn't until that moment that I realized that I wanted so badly for someone to say that to me so I wouldn't have to go through it all again. And we put them in a box and we packed it and I took it to Staples and had it couriered out to Mark in New York and he should have it in a few days. And come January, he will have that first publication and Justice Case will be in print. So I'm hoping for the next little while to be able to set it all aside and focus more on my family and my grandchildren, my daughter, my son and his wife, and my husband too, and my friends. Oh yeah, and a, a little, if not a lot, of self-care. Because it takes its toll. It takes its toll. This is hard work. It's hard work. I wouldn't have it any other way, but I'd be lying to you if I said it was easy. It's really hard. So I'm going to focus on some other fun stuff. And I sit and relax in the quiet understanding that I still have a relationship with my daughter, albeit not the one that I wanted, but I have one nonetheless. And she makes me smile and laugh every day. I enjoy her company.